today we'll be introducing to you our myth, criminals are born, not made. For today's video, we'll be discussing two relevant studies that support or opposes the myth. So we'll be covering these few things. Okay, so we'll be going to different people and asking them whether criminals are born or made. And we have different sets of criminals here. Are born or made, you make a selection of Can I give like a one-liner reason why you chose that? Uh, because I think like ultimately it's your own action and it's up to you what you want to do. So, okay. Yeah, what you want to do like, it's not like you're born a criminal. It's, 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 I think it's your intention of doing it instead of you are born being a criminal. I think criminals are made okay. because no one is born evil. Okay la, I choose this right because most of the time I think it's sweet. Because I think everyone is born equal, but then because of different circumstances, uh, it might change the way you think and so it will change how you behave also. Yeah. Okay. But then there are some born with psychotic nature, la, so that oh, one is okay. born. But that one is very small percentage, that's why I choose meat. Okay. And yeah. if you okay, if you think about people who commit murder, right, half the time right, they're narcissists or they have some psychotic issues. So naturally psychotic issues right, are like it's a it's a biological thing. So it's genetic. And if you if you see people who who have come from backgrounds of a certain kind, okay, it is how do you say it's passed down uh, I feel. So and even if you don't if you don't agree with the genetic thing, right, I feel that most of the time right murders people like murderers. Uh, John Wayne Gacy, Peter Fowles, uh, what, uh, Ted Bundy, they all have, they all, they all show a same trend, right, of actual psychological behaviour that is different from the normal person, which means that it has to be something internal, right? and it cannot be influenced by outside factors, because if you could, if you could identify a murderer from birth, right, and try to change them, why hasn't that happened already, right? So for the first research paper, Biological Factors and Crime by Mini and Finn Ho discusses how biological factors play a part in criminal behaviour. So there were two studies mentioned, twin studies by Lange and adoption studies by Mini and Finn Ho. For the twin studies, twins were separated into two groups, monozygotic and dizygotic. Lange discovered that there was a 77 percent concordance of criminal behaviour in monozygotic twins, while dizygotic twins only had 12 percent. Identical twins inherit some biological characteristic which increases their common risk of being registered for criminal behaviour. For the adoption studies, sons who have criminal biological fathers have an elevated probability of becoming a criminal even when they have never seen their fathers before. Researchers also found relations between the ANS and criminal behaviour. For example, researchers observed catecholamine blood levels just before 11-year-old boys were to appear for trial. The more psychopathic boys evidence no elevation in such levels. Researchers compared their pulse rates in anticipation of stress. Those who had a lower pulse at age 11 were found as more severe delinquency at age 21. The second research paper, Childhood Behaviour Problems Predict Crime and Violence in Late Adolescents by them, discusses how environmental factors play a part in criminal behaviour. Longitudinal studies were conducted comparing children in Pelotas, Brazil and Auspark, Britain. At age 11, parents were told to fill in a strengths and difficulties questionnaire that measured conduct problems and hyperactivity in their children. And, in, and at age 18, children had to fill up a confidential self-reported crime questionnaire. The children in Pelotas, Brazil had about four times higher risk of both conduct problems and hyperactivity. And there were higher rates of violent crime in Brazil, but higher rates of non-violent crimes in Britain. Uh, this is because in Brazil, increased rates of violence were caused by social inequality, low levels of social control, and a widespread material poverty. Criminal behaviour, especially chronic criminal behaviour, seems to be partly genetically predisposed. Criminal behaviour must be caused. One class of causal variables is the biological category. Another class is the environmental category. Childhood conduct problems and hyperactivity are similar precursors of both non-violent and violent crimes across two very different social contexts. 
Early identification and intervention is important to reduce childhood behavioural problems and prevent future criminal behaviour. Hope you have learned a thing or two from our video. Thank you! Thank you! Thank you.